Nestled in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains in Sierra Madre is a charming bungalow, the Four Seasons Tea Room, a quaint English escape. Welcome. Good to see you too. Hello. Come in, please. All furniture, all chairs, all tables, linens. And there's still even people here in Sierra Madre who have never been here. And when they walk in, they just say, I didn't know this was here. I do get that reaction positively. They live happy. I had never worked in a place where when people leave, they give you hugs. And Rosa Jaime has been showered with hugs from happy customers since 2004, when she first opened her tea room. Tea is one thing that relaxes you. Not only that it's a place where you go to when you're hungry, it's a place where you go when you need to be pampered, when you have a worried or something. Tea has that to you. A variety of teas, a lovely setting, and Rosa's hospitality all make for a truly relaxing experience. This is really good. When people leave, they're satisfied, and I love that feeling. Rosa had more than 30 years experience working in restaurants before she became a business owner herself. When I first came to work, I was 19 years old, didn't speak a word of English, and the only thing that I could do was roll silverware with napkins. So I would smile to people and keep rolling silverware. Eventually, Rosa learned how to speak English and worked her way up to a managerial position at a cafeteria in Pasadena. When that restaurant shut down, she decided it was time to pursue her dream. But after they closed Beatles Cafeteria, I really didn't know what to do and all I knew was food. Love people, love to serve. So I started looking for places to buy. I love the mountains. So we found this little place. I had a partner and that's exactly what I wanted. And I had collected some dishes for tea because I love dishes. Dishes, linens, and flowers. So it's like the place found me, and it was my dream. We have your scones. This is the part that I enjoy the most, flowers. And Rosa hasn't forgotten her roots. She's managed to combine some of her Mexican culture with the English traditions she loves. And I have passion for cooking. So you have to develop your little tea sandwiches in order to go with the flavor of teas that you are offering herbs, lots of fresh herbs. I'm lucky because I grew up with my grandmother and she loved uh, fresh herbs back in Mexico. So I am accustomed to those flavors and I had introduced those flavors and my uh, feelings for the sandwiches. And that goes very well with your tea. It's a mixture of even my own culture with this English tradition. I try to do that in my set of sandwiches and could be for my own satisfaction. <laughs> yes, but people like them. Rosa, thank you so much. We had a lot of our time. Thank you, Monica, very much. And thank you for bringing this lovely group. It was our pleasure.